Uh, I think every every guy has a view of their own mortality, and I think for most guys, it's when they turn 40. So as I was approaching 40 in 2011, uh, my now wife and I were very interested in losing a lot of weight because I had spent most of my 20s and 30s um, severely overweight, and I knew that having a 11-year-old son, if I kept going the way I was going, I wasn't going to be around when he got older. My name is John Abusewitz. I am 47, and I'm a music teacher at Bristol Central High School. I teach band at Bristol Central High School, and uh, band involves moving of equipment. And there's a lot of equipment that I have in my room that I have to move uh, on a regular basis. And I've learned that you know, just simple lifting things, just just being aware of what your body can do and what it can't do, how to how to lift certain things without hurting yourself. Uh, moving equipment, uh, people marvel sometimes that I'm carrying things the way I'm carrying them, and I'd say, well, I pick things up and put things down in the gym, so I can put the, pick things up and put things down at, at, at work. As I was approaching my 40s, we got with a personal trainer who gave us a nutrition plan, workout plan, and basically was whittling me down. I would say. Now I can see it was an unhealthy way to get there. I lost about 80 pounds in about eight months. So I guess you know, I guess 10 pounds a month is, is pretty okay if you have that much to lose. But I was getting asked a lot if I was okay, like if I was sick. And I didn't like that. About September, October, when she, my wife, told me about this new gym opening up down the street from my condo. And she said her brother joined this CrossFit gym in Southington, and I was very skeptical at first. I was like, eh, I don't really care to do anything differently than I'm doing right now. Um, so she said, well, it's a free class. Let's go check it out. It was literally down the street from my condo. So we go there on a Saturday at, at the opening class, and it was a pretty simple workout, sit-ups and squats and things like that. But I found that I couldn't move the next day. It was nothing like I had ever been used to working out. Um, and since 2012, uh, we kept with it. It's coming up on our seven year anniversary doing CrossFit, and I couldn't, honestly, couldn't imagine myself doing anything else. Right. I make sure I don't overextend myself. Uh, I, I do, I do I keep myself extremely busy um, between the months of September and June. I'm in work at 6 a.m. every day. Uh, some days I'm there till 4, some days I'm there till 8. Uh, those days obviously are. What I don't like are forced rest days, but when I when I make sure I make sure I at least have three to four days uh, that I know I can get to the gym, give myself that hour and a half of stress release that I need. When when people ask me what I do uh, to stay in shape, or just because they, they, they see me and they see that somebody who's uh, my age and the shape that I'm in, they ask me what I do, I tell them I do CrossFit. And they go, I could never do that. I say, well, have you ever tried it? And they're like, no. I say, well, I'm, I'm not fit enough to do CrossFit. But what I tell them is, everybody starts somewhere. It's modifiable for everybody. When this gym opened uh, in 2000, when Bell City opened in 2012, none of us could do anything. Uh, so for people who think they're not fit enough, the best advice I can tell you is try it.